fucker you trying to style on? Okay. I gave you your lingo, I gave you your style, girl. Before you met me, you ain't know how to sit in the drop. Before you met me, you ain't know how to fuck up the spot. It's funny to me, too. And you so forgetful. Links with your girls, it fucked up your mental. Or maybe you meant to be hard, be cruel. I got some girls that I dogged in the past. I know that karma is right on my ass. I know that everything comes to the light. I know that you love to do things out of spite. Claiming that I never ever held your ass down. You're so forgetful. Down my whole life, soon as you came around, you forgot about that too. You say that I'm heartless, I say regardless. You're so forgetful. Well, hit me up once your memory renews. And undo all the spots that we went to. And undo all the blocks that we spent through. Right back to the gang, fuck the two things. Don't try to come to my spots with your new link. Cause it's like at your new link. I know it's childish, but that's how we do things. You said you never ever change, but you change. You said you never ever. You said you never ever. Back to the gang, what's up? DNC chains on us. Your new nigga lame as fuck. I won't even hit you the fuck. Busy leveling up, Bombay and hookah must. Only this drink I trust. Running your friends, but what could you say to them? What could you say? No, uh. Mm -hmm. Claiming that I never ever there you had go. down. You're so forgetful. Down my whole life, soon as you came around, you forgot about that too. You say that I'm heartless, I say regardless. You're so forgetful. But I'll be gone once your memory reads. Mm -hmm. You're so forgetful. You're so forgetful. Oh, what's good? What's good, y'all? Be live on YouTube. What it do? What it do? So Got Miss Siobhan. You ain't see her the minute. The ghost face killer. Back. What's up, you guys? It's Little Body T. Now this podcast, and we back. Whole new episode, episode eight, and I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, you yeah. already know. I'm okay. here. It feel good. Thank you for coming, everybody. Y'all already know who I got in the building. These faces are totally familiar. Two friends to the show. And a new friend. I'm excited. I <laughs> Listen, you Woo! already know I've the vibe. I've been in the car, but I'm around. Yes. Um, should I just say Kima, aka Miss Siobhan? Yeah, we can work with that. All right. You want to learn more about Miss C class? In a second. Yeah, the, yeah. The it's chicken the man. chicken man, baby. <laughs> C class, aka class, aka over twelve million views. Let's go for life. Brandsville CEO, entrepreneur, designer, artist. Holla if you hear me. I think y'all hear me. Huh? <laughs> y'all hear him. And y'all already know, friends of the show, Mimi, what's up, girl? Hey, everybody. I'm excited to be here with y'all today. This is going to be a good one. Yes, this is really going to be. They hit me with a boom bow, and I was so happy <laughs> yeah. to get that. Like, what? Okay. We got an exclusive today. But before we get into everything, I hope everybody had a good week. Yeah. Everything's yeah. been great. I mean, we alive. Listen. My trailer at like 210,000, episode at 56,000. I think it's been a good week. I yes. Think, I think it's been a good Thanksgiving week. and we giving thanks. Oh, we giving yeah. thanks for yeah. sure. Yeah. Definitely. For life. For uh -oh. sure. Thanksgiving food? I, I still got yeah, some Thanksgiving food that I don't want. I had some fresh <laughs> food last night. I had some snow crabs, king Ooh. crabs, oxtails, salmon. Yummy. That sounds good. Mac yeah, yeah that was slamming. That's what I wanted yesterday some crabs. Yeah, I had some crabs. Last night. I woke up three in the morning eating crabs. Yeah, I brought some home. I yeah. think that was that was nice. Oh, he brought some home. Y'all heard that? Okay. Little hints is coming out. <laughs> Catch that oh, tea. Yeah. Catch I that tea. It's the holiday season. And I mean, it just feels, it still feels festive. You know, it's that season, that um that relationship season. This is the get right and act right season. Oh. Get right and exactly. act right. Yeah, like, yeah, or, like or stay right. My, Shorty, because I know Christmas is coming, so I'm gonna be my best behavior. Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. That's that time. Or well, if you single, single, we probably feel a little sad, sad. Right. Yeah. Like, I don't wanna be part with none of y'all, no sneaky links, none of that. Right. Cause I don't wanna wear match pajamas. Right, <laughs> right. I agree. <laughs> For real. You could agree, but you ain't single. 
But I understand the matching pajama thing. Because <laughs> we all do want it. that. Because yeah. you all do it. Right. Single people want to be a part of that. I'm going to still like the picture, though. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome because it's going to look you. But you post yours and I'm going to like yours. Okay. Because I'm going to give love. It's, all right. It's just going to be me and my daughter. So oh. It's fine. Listen, that's family. That's, that's family. all that matters. Yes. Did you guys spend Thanksgiving with, like, your family? Was it huge or quiet and simple? It was quiet. I was home. Yeah, it was quiet. It was, it was very quiet. Do you think that it was because of, like, last year we had to stay in, so everybody just kept it going, or it was just a choice? I think it's by nature. It's one yeah. of those Choices. feeling moods, just, like, yep. relaxing Thanksgiving. Yep. It wasn't a party Thanksgiving as yep. the other ones be. I was happy COVID, to be home. Me too. Everybody was together. Like, oh, we're going to this person's house. We're going to all get together. After COVID, it was like, mm, yeah, I'm going to stay where you are. Yeah. I'm going to still stay. It was very intimate for us, yeah. for sure. Me too. Cooking, cleaning, sleep. Home. Yeah. I she slept. said it was intimate for us. Oh. You catching that? <laughs> catching yeah, that scene? Oh, this is what so. the friend of the show does. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. She oh, she now she's in position. I like the friend she of the show. She dropped the tea yeah, bag yeah, for the tea. Yeah. Okay, out. now she's in her position. Us, so. I like these. Uh, uh, All so in the hot water. water. She dropped it. Yeah. Mm. So with that being said, we got an exclusive, right? What yeah. they said? What was being said? The Chicken Man C class. Yes. And Miss Siobhan. Wait, you cancel YouTube. <laughs> oh, oh get it later, YouTube. Yeah, you gotta get it later. <laughs> they are a couple. Yes. Yeah. We oh, together. Surprise. Yes, Did yes, not know. Yes. How long has this been, you guys? Oh, God. Forever, it feels like. Over, what, how many years? Like 16 years. Oh, wow, nice. y'all married. y'all keep it together? Well, we had our, you know, ups and downs and stuff like that where we had was possible. We was away from each other for a while and stuff like that. And I was, you know, trying to find my way back. Yes. Black love and, um, you was on your Yeezy shit. Keep my family together. Yeah, I need my family. Yeah. Yes. And then, um, we finally, <laughs> you know, got back together. Then from there, been together ever since then. Yes. Nice. Like that. 16 years, that's a long, that's a long time. time. Let me that's tell you. Beautiful. Let me tell you how, how long it's been, right? Mm. And I got to tell a story. I hope the camera's on her face. They can't see it. Oh, but. Move tell it. A little bit. They can see yeah. it. <laughs> so we only three years apart, like that. Three years apart. That's mm -hmm. it. Whatever, like that. But when I was, we first were dating, she was seventeen. I was like nineteen, going on twenty. Aww, and um, she and right. So somebody. she was she was um starting some youth job and stuff like that. Her mom was working and stuff, and they needed her to you know go to get the papers and. Somebody had to be available that was over 18 and stuff like that. So mm. I had to go sign mm. the papers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Child. That's his favorite story. I got to tell my embarrassing story first before she tell hers. I had to get okay. mine out. That's no one coming story. for me. And yeah. you no saw her and it was just love at first sight? Nah, honestly, it was. Mm. Honestly, it was. Honestly, let me tell you how it was. Because when I first saw her, I didn't know who she was. Oh. She was with some people from my neighborhood that I knew like mm -hmm. that. You didn't know her. Yeah, and I was like, yo, who the hell is that? Ooh. I wanted her. I'm on her. So you like from that. the Ville? No. Oh, I was about to say you never ran, never with. No, no, no. <laughs> I came all, all to Diddy. Yeah. And he was on me. <laughs> so where are you from in Brooklyn? Bushwick. Okay. okay. Bushwick. Bushwick, yeah. Let me tell you one of my corniest lines I ever say. I'm a, I'm Horrible. A, I'm a, to you? Everything yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, he's spilling the right. beans. Give it to us. So I was, I was, whatever, you want to call fiend, whatever you want to say. Excuse but me. I really, I really had one of her and like that. She was walking through the hood and I saw her. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh shit, they got her right there. My dumb ass. Not knowing what to say. You know what my stupid ass said? What did you say? I like how your shoes sound. <laughs> he definitely no, did. did. he what? say that? He yeah. definitely did. He was did. nervous. Yeah. She make you nervous? But let me tell you, it was no, this No, no, no. Did she make you nervous? Yeah. Let me tell you. Aww. Because when she was, she was, she didn't wear sneakers. She wore like dress clothes up like that. So I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? How do I approach her? So her, so, shoes, so her shoes, so her shoes sounded like teachers. Yeah. Yeah. You know how yeah. teachers yeah. walk in the school? So did he. You had a pocketbook? Yeah. I had a purse. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm the queen of purses. Purse. Purse. I'm the queen of purses. That's all I ever had. All right, that's enough oh. You would never remember she them said, shoes click clacking. Oh. Never forget them shoes she click clacking. Oh, here we go. Yeah. He was so dry. And it's so crazy because I didn't even like him. Oh. That was a plot twist. Yeah, cold shoulder. Some hood guy all on me. I'm walking from the bus. Like, he... It made me nervous. Not hood guy. Because my, my family always told me, like, 
Brownsville ain't they ain't um, want me in Brownsville. So they was like, Don't talk to nobody from Brownsville, they gonna rob you. Not after sixteen it's sixteen years. Listen. Now look, now this. Now this Now this for sure. <laughs> yes. And I was just like, Oh hell so no, he was gonna rob he, me. Like a, a dating. Like was he romantic? He was, interestingly. Uh, but wait, but if wait, you jumped it because you didn't like him at first. I didn't, but he was persistent. Okay. So he oh, didn't he stop really on did. it. <laughs> you what? He, he was aggressive. He, he was oh. persistent. I was like, oh, hell, let me just give him my number. I only gave him my him number. number at first? I did because I was nervous. Mm-hmm. Oh. This is, I'm a Bushwick did girl. He you right away to he make sure it was did. real? Wow. You always knew oh. what you wanted from young. He was serious. He walked me to my cousin building. I was like, oh, he going to rob me. He going to rape me. No. That's all the thoughts that's going in my mind. I'm like, oh, God. Because no. of what the stories what you What the heard. stories I heard. Because right. my family is from Brownsville, but they wanted us to move out of Brownsville for us mm-hmm. or whatever. So I didn't never experience Brownsville until I came. Mm-hmm. And they were savage. They he was grabbing you your arms. And, uh, <laughs> they they was were savage. grabbing you. Yeah. But he didn't grab you, though. No, he just followed me. That's oh. what made me nervous. See what she said? They was grabbing her, right? Yeah. That goes back to that topic we was talking about when yeah. we was filming. Yeah. And this is what guys used to do. So now is a different time. See? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, though. Go ahead. Yeah. But Keep I know you story. Keep I going. That's nice. He was persistent. He, he was. You said he was romantic. He How really romantic was. is he? He's super romantic. Like, still? My bir- still. To this day? Good. To, this day. to this day. My birthday, I planned nothing. When Not was your one thing. My birthday is December 26th. Okay. So when I look for it, it's just like, my friend's like, what are we doing? Nothing. I'm waiting for him. You want me to wow. tell him one year? One year we um, Yeah, he makes her it happen. Her birthday, where we went? We went to the Blue Lobster Grill on 14th mm-hmm. Street right there. And then from the Blue Lobster Grill, I took her to the um, see the tree light up from nice. there. And then from there, she ain't on none of this. Then we took the horse and carriage ride around Central Park and shit like that. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. It was I amazing. Always, always that's Cause he stuff. listened. Cause oh, I told I him I never. To do that. I said that. Let me find that out the class. Nice. Yeah. I got the class. That's what he do. And he listened to me. Cause I told him I never saw the tree mm-hmm. light up. I always wanted to go there and see the tree. I always wanted to ice oh, he's skate. A great listener. And he took, I was like, oh, shit. I was surprised. And I was like, what we doing? Because I don't like surprises. So, okay, y'all got together, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Then y'all started getting romantic. Okay. So now C-Class comes to you, right, Mm -hmm. with an idea. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yo, I want to start filming. And what do you say when he says that? Like, what was your first initial reaction like? So it wasn't even like that. Okay. Yeah. Tell yeah. me how it was. Yeah. All right, it wasn't ahead. even like that. So we are in the house. We watching um, Money and Violence. Mm-hmm. And he was like, yo, Kim, I got a story. And I was like, oh, you got a story? He was like, I want to do this. I know I could do this. And I was like, oh, you can. His birthday was coming up. So I was like, all right. I got a surprise for him. So he was in the house with all his friends. And he was like, I need a computer. I need a um, camera. I ain't got none of this. How am I going to start this? I was like, but if you serious, tell me you serious. And I was, he was like, I'm serious. I was like, okay. He didn't even know. I went to PC Richards with oh. my mother. I came home with the computer. Came home with the um, camera. And I was like, go film. Boom. Wow. Just like that. that. Now this. This is how this is going to go. Like wow. wow. Just like that. Y'all go film. You remember your feelings when she came and surprised you? Mm-hmm. Express them. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Express them. Well, I was emotional. Both people around, so you know, <laughs> yes. I cried later. Oh. I hugged her, yes. stuff like that. But yes. she always been there. I told you from the beginning. Even with her holding a camera behind the scenes, she been there from the beginning. I'm gonna tell you how deep it's been, right? To the point where years, years before this, I bought a home studio in my crib, and she would engineer, hold that, like press wow. play for me. And she on some of the hooks. Like, because she was there. Like, press play, baby. And she'd sit there and press play. And I'd be over there rapping on the mic. And then I I write the rap for her. Then she'd go on there and rap. And all that. She rapped too. And all that shit. You a rapper too? I'm a sideline rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Only if somebody write it for me, I'll get in there and I'll say whatever you wrote. But she I like on the soundtrack. The soundtrack, Mommy. Yeah. That's her singing in yeah. the background. Nice. And then it's just been history ever since. Been history well, ever it's since. been rough. It's been rough times. Mm. Yeah. yeah, we had some Jerry Springer moments. It's Not been, no the baby rough. moments, right? Nah, no, no, nah, no. Nah, okay. I was, no. Nah, nah. <laughs> I wouldn't be around. I, all right, let me tell you, I had one time where I was, you know, I was still young and I was, you know, doing what I had to do. And then um, I was at my mom's crib. It was me and my sister. Uh-huh. And we playing <laughs> cards and chilling. And then the door opened up. And I turned the door. 
and I see a girl I'm messing with, the girl of a girl mess will come through. And I look again, she come through with the girl. Oh. They both came together at the up. crib. And, and yeah. She lined you up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we had, we had rough times too. <laughs> so what you they call the girl? The girl called me. Oh, actually. she came to you as a woman? They always come to you as a woman. Yes. And I'm a woman, so I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what I need to know. You're right, so I'm here with it. I'm for it. Like, what we what we discussing? But he ain't gonna play that shit when I'm in front of right, him. Right now, so it definitely didn't. And I know she was very embarrassed when we went. I actually felt really bad for her. But you know, when you when you think you're a woman, you think that that's your nigga, but that's all mine. But yeah, so you know, growing pains, and then you get mature, you get yeah. older, you start to understand stuff. Yes. And that's when you know things got better as we grew up together more. But we was friends first. Like that, like real good friends, and then we understood each other more like that. Yeah, because we was on a whole different book. Fuck the page. I know that's We right. wasn't even on the, in the same book. We wasn't really in the same story at one point in our lives, but he was young. He wanted to sow his royal oats. Mm -hmm. And you know, oh, when you're a mature woman, like when we 17 as a woman, we know exactly what we want. Right. We know really? we want. No, we no, no, that don't count, No, though. we do But count. yeah, no, y'all think y'all know what y'all want. Y'all have know. envisions. Let me tell you, uh, women think life is a script. It's a fairy tale. Y'all got the book planned out. Y'all don't know what y'all want. Y'all have a vision of what y'all think it should what? be. And what y'all, y'all know you're 17. We, we know, know what we, we want to do, and then guys want. come and, yeah. and, and fuck up the plans. No, yeah. no, not fuck up the plan. Reality comes, y'all see, it's not a storybook. No. Oh, y'all gonna a run this. Life yeah. ain't a script. Let's go is a script. Life ain't. But so you might think I say, baby, I'm this, that. You waiting for him to say this, that, or third. It don't work that way. But so what? now he don't say what you thought he's gonna say you mad. No, it's not. No, reality. men just want their cake and eat it too. So Absolutely. it's not about cake. Some Women people eat diet food. No, no, no. Oh no, you so a vegetarian. He Listen. <laughs> no. He snapped it. Listen. No problem. This is what we argue about all the time. Mm. Men they they want that they cake and eat it too. They can't come we, up we, front that's not and the tell you like, right Listen, now. this is what it is. Right. Like this is it. I don't Either really want to be with it, you or, you're or not. But I my just thing is this. Chill. If y'all know that, what's wrong? Y'all no, know niggas is liars. Hey. What are you talking about? Like this. You, you know he lying. Oh, he says you know he lying. You know he lying. That's you. No. You know he lying. Because you want to believe it. Stop wanting to believe it. Just sit back and, and mm. watch the truth unfold. He lying. Oh, I hate no, to watch the, the truth lying. unfold. That's right, reality. Just stop the lying. They no, can't. You can't stop the lying. You got to come up front. We we No. It's not happening. Right. Why don't God? Let me ask you a question. But you guys. know what's crazy? Some women do like know somebody's lying. And okay, I understand yeah. that. I, I'm not saying it's I'm against what he's saying. Let me ask you a question. It's like, alluring. Why don't guys feel like they can take a chance and tell a woman what it's going to be and give her the opportunity right. mm -hmm. to say she want to go with it or, or no? Right. Let me tell why? you. Why? Tell the God truth. truth. Why? why? Because it ain't about. You <laughs> no. listen, it's ego. Just listen, just know. They listen, don't just like no, their ego. No. See, you're not listening. Get down. No, you're not listening. It's not about us. It's about your ego. No, you're not. See, to learn, you have to listen. So, for you get a, a, a answer from a man, you have to let the man speak. Yes, you're already determining my reasoning without hearing my reasoning. Oh, I thought you gave your answer. I'm sorry. I gave an answer. I didn't give the reasoning. Okay. You took the reason as an ego. Okay. It ain't about no ego. Okay. It's about the pussy. That's all it's about. Just listen, I'm being a man, right? If I, if a man see a woman that he want to have sex with, right, and he has the opportunity to say, if I tell her I got a girl I want to fuck, she might not. So his goal is this. I'm going to take the best chance of me getting that pussy. I'm not thinking about her feelings. I'll tell her later. Right now, I might tell some girls yes, some girls no, but this one... Listen, I ain't taking that chance. I'm going to just say no because I got a better chance of getting that pussy. It ain't about you. It ain't about my ego. He want that cat. Now, if he tell you got a girl, it's a more of a chance it might go this way. He ain't got time for this way. That shit looking good. He want to go this way. Mm -hmm. So he going to say whatever he got to say to go this way. It ain't about no ego. It ain't about you. It's about him trying to score. So the best way to get that basket in is saying this. That's all it's about. That's it. So guys just don't care. They just care about the pussy. Exactly. <laughs> what? 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 Yes. yes. And not then, look, but, but, but let me tell you, let me tell you, honestly, God, truth, though, right? The guy cares not about the pussy, they but he love. will, exactly, will fall in they love with the woman. In love. That's true, but it they starts there. Right it starts from a physical attraction. Mm -hmm. I didn't know her. I was physically attracted to mm -hmm. her. Luckily, I met her. She was a person that I also love. love, too. Yes. I could have met a person that looked good, but didn't, wasn't compatible with me. 
I just got lucky to find somebody that was compatible with me that I found friends. attractive first. Mm -hmm. It don't happen like that all the time. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, silly. ladies, stop being foolish. Give it some time before you give them the box so you don't look foolish after expecting A, B, and C and only giving you is D. Ooh, uh, uh, that's the truth. Just giving you D. No, that's the truth. I waited. No, that's the truth. Hell yeah, she, you know, why? it took me a while listen, to that's get that. Truth. Listen, it wasn't Shit. happening. She was like, you gonna listen to these shoes. You gonna click, hear this click clack, clack for click. a few months for you to clack click me. No, for real. Yeah, that was so good. it was different no, for That was good yeah. to break it down. And that's yeah, that was a man's opinion and I right. think he broke it down. He sure did. But but Maybe men do say it. yes, we have women all the time. Mm. All the time. All the time. All the time. And then some women do go for it. And some yes. women, yeah, no, like, oh he has a girl, so what? Mm. For right now. Mm. Cause that's so what always turn into Hey, I wanna come to you as a woman. Yeah. Not yeah. That's horrible. And I think how them what they do they say the man play cat and mouse. Yeah. And I think it's, it's enticing to a woman as well when a man has a, a a woman and then they more attracted to that man too. We never look at it from that point of view, but I, guys do. I think that women think that their vagina is better than the next person. They so, do. So they want to stick they around do. like, right, fuck so it, they think I can that take him. They may, yeah, you. that's the, exactly. they think that, a, a woman to think that if you got a girl you mess with her, you don't like her. Something wrong with your girl, and you and she's better, something like that. I think you're not but, happy at home. But let me tell you about men. Me, honestly, it's like men. With, a lot of men don't like to mess with women who's involved and shit like that. Like men don't really like that shit is dangerous. That shit is niggas will kill you over the ugliest girl. Like that shit is dangerous. Don't mess with no nigga with a wife or a girl. Nigga will kill you over the piece of doo doo or some shit. Shit is real. Damn, women love it. Women think they got it one up. It, it, it makes them who they are. Yeah, like, it makes them higher feel good. than the other woman. Right, yeah. They all, I always tell my friends that we always have that conversation about women thinking that their vagina is the best. Go. Like, go. girl, what makes you <laughs> like think your vagina else got is it. better? Right, right. Like, what makes you think your vagina is better than the next woman? They could just be going through it at the moment, and that's why he took advantage. Not mm -hmm. even. Yeah. It's because men are physical, women are mental. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. A man can have sex with you and have no emotions attached to it. Right. Fuck you and go on the next time. Like, go fuck somebody else. I like that you brought that up, right? And I got something to stay after oh. that. Because oh. I was just going to change it and say, you see how you said men are physical, they can have sex. But why when women do it, men have a problem? Okay, now that's the that's one right there. Okay, good. That, right? So now like you said men are women physical and women are mental, right? So now that's why, because if we know that I fucked her for nothing, so now I know you fucked him fucks, you like this nigga, so go be with him. That's the difference. You know I fucked her for a fuck. So if I know you cheated with him, that means you like this nigga. Mm -hmm. So now if you like this nigga, they're going to be with this nigga. Because I don't like this bitch. I'm just fucking her because she free, she nasty, she do what I want when I need it. I could care less. Oh, but you too. fucked them, so you like them, so Does you can stay with them. she really like them, though? Y'all just said that. If women something, y'all like them. Y'all ain't doing it for nothing. This is what y'all just said. You got to stand on it. That's what Miss Siobhan, a.k.a. Yeah. Kima said, right? Yeah. Oh, shit, they pointed at you. <laughs> no, oh, it's not the truth. It's the truth. Y'all not the truth. But she's speaking for the women. Now, right? it's some women. Y'all co-signed it. Some women. Y'all co-signed it. Some women, yeah, so some women can have sex right. and oh, just now, be Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Now, okay. Now, okay. now, 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 I said some, and that's why I asked the question, and that's why I asked like, so why when women sleep with a man? And this is why I'm telling you, and you said right, and that's why you said that, and I said okay, it makes sense. That's how we got here, right? So with that being said, do you think that now the tables are starting to turn a little bit where women are just saying I'm having sex with him one time and I'm moving on? It's nothing wrong with that, but if you with somebody still cheating, like if you single, you do what you do. I think women leave mentally first in their relationship. Like mm -hmm. you gotta really do something to make a woman feel like I'm going to leave right. and I'm gonna start entertaining other people. Mm -hmm. Like women don't just do it. You just said niggas just do this because they want X, Y, Z. Oh, she look good? Girls don't do that. They be like, this nigga's on my body. I don't even like him. I have my man. Because mm -hmm. you have in your mind, exactly. like, I have my man up. It's so this why when they but cheat, we don't want him no more. Because we know you going. Because we know what it is. So if you did that, she going already, so stay. Because like you said, that's I'm mentally you, gone, so how? If I know you're mentally gone, why would I no, want something back that I know that's gone? Get somebody back after being mentally Why would I want something back that's already gone? You what left. What happens to just staying home, cleaning up and cooking exactly. when you're mad so at him? So once you left, because you're mentally gone, 
You still gotta find yourself, right? Oh, oh my. You still gotta find yourself. If you go on, that means you might find. You gotta find yourself, baby girl. See, we a little older in age. I'm gonna tell y'all because my daughter watched the show, right? She was like, "Y'all kind of old." Hilarious. I was like, "We older people, okay?" She twelve. We ain't old. We Yeah, I said we older people. Yeah, older. She was like, "No wonder why you on this show." Hilarious. The old head show. Right. She was watching it though. You gonna yeah. watch this work, and right. she was into it. You see, uh-huh. all right, good, get into good. it, that's right? Good. So, all right, now I think younger people. I say that just to say, right? Younger people, I think women are more in it for even if they got a man now, right. and they just sleep with another another guy and want to hit it and quit it. Oh, his dick was little. I'm out. I'm going back to my dude. <laughs> he never nah, know. It was little. And it's like how y'all changing. The, the dynamics of how things used, used to be. Like, what, what y'all it's think the, about that? It's, it's the dynamics of the times of what we are portraying through social media, through music, through videos. So that's what's changing. So now you got this city girl mentality mm-hmm. where it's suck them, fuck them, get a dollar, where it's only entertainment. But when it gets filtered down, it don't get filtered down to it's only entertainment. Right. So the people that's taking it in, these little girls really yes. thinking, oh, yeah. you're supposed to do this. Yeah. These girls just talking that in the there song. There are some people that do that, though. There you know are what I'm some saying? that just give those things. So it's like, that's what changed, is that people's entertainment make people think that's real life. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And it's not it's real life. All these like rappers life. rapping about these ladies and all this, all these niggas is married. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's only entertainment, but if you were young, I got all these bitches, I ain't getting no wife, and a nigga just rapping it, married with children, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But the, it don't get trickled down to them to understand the entertainment. So they thinking that, mm-hmm. oh, Nobody you ain't get like, them. boom, all right, this mentality. Yeah. If nigga ain't paying no bills, I ain't, I ain't don't talk to them like that. So pretty much what you're saying is, you are a service for money. So if I got to cash out you to talk to you, then fuck, skip that. Let me cash out to fuck you. Now you mad if I say that. But you put a price on yourself. Oh, you got to spend money and talk to me. Okay, well, I'm going to spend money. I want to fuck. By well, following now you mad. entertainment. Exactly. Yeah, because you put like a price said, on yourself. So yeah. now they say, hey, well, how much is for this? Social media has a lot to do with it. All to That's do with it. Said. All to That's do with it. Because they yeah. take it as reality. Yes. And it's not reality. Yes. That's like if you posted all these pictures with your ass, a nigga jump in your DM with a dick, you mad. What are you talking about? <laughs> if you show an ass, you think they're going to get hard? What do you think? Is it yes, like, they're going to get hard. What do you think? You, like, once you become a, a, a media personality or put yourself in a public domain, you're susceptible to everything. I got mm-hmm. Africans, weirdos, fans that call me and all type of shit times of the night. It comes with the territory. Right. You can't be in this game like, why people saying this to me about me? Why? Nigga, once you put yourself on a public platform, course, you're subject with everything have. under the sun. It comes with it. Not whether you're a man or a woman. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. But they don't. young people don't understand that who are just on the sidewalk. I always say these people are on the sidewalk. Walk, they not in the streets and it's like how do you get the, get it through to them like this is not what's really going on because offset said it best y'all said cardi don't cook a clean look at her she in here sweeping right yeah, now it's entertainment uh-huh. <laughs> they even brought up future they was like why you never changed your music because he wasn't even on syrup and lean no more and they was like why are you not telling the youth that you're not on syrup and lean anymore mm-hmm. he was like that's it, it sells entertainment yeah know the difference that's the lesson yeah, for sure. That's the lesson. Let's get into Let's Go for Life. Y'all, y'all want to y'all wanna get into We getting intense yeah, right now? Yeah, that's getting... good. It's all good. That's all good. T, I like you, it. You dropping some more on the tea? You dropping no, some more in there? I don't got no more in there. Let's Let's Go for Life. So, okay. So, now, right? Oh, before we get there. So, now y'all, y'all filming. Things is going. And now he, you said, you know, um, she bought the equipment. Now y'all got season one up and going. Y'all came up with this idea. Now, how did she get behind the scenes? Well, pretty much, we all had to get behind the scenes because the first cameraman we had, dudes started flaking and, you know, niggas start thinking you need them because mm-hmm. you're not a director like that. So he just start not showing up and doing all type of shit. So we had to do it. I had to do it myself. And right. then when I'm in the scenes, I can't hold it myself. So, you know, I train her, pass down to her, and then everybody else in the camp like that. Then we all became it. But she got steady hands. Like, she was, she don't smoke, drink, mm-hmm. or something like mm-hmm. us. So she one of the ones, you know what I'm saying, steady hands and shit like right. that. And then, you know, she the one that we make sure that everything is going on right. You know what I'm saying? You know, around everything and shit like that. That's how she become behind the scenes. But the real story is how she became the crackhead. That's oh. the story. <laughs> All right, get into it. Look, I love to tell that story. So um, we film it, and the person that was supposed to be the crackhead didn't show up. So I was like, oh, brother, you want me to do it? 
And he was like, yeah, but what you gonna do? And I was like, I'm not gonna show my face. Just get me from behind, get me from the side. I'm not, I'm gonna put a scarf, I had a scarf, it was winter. So I'm gonna throw my scarf on my face or whatever. And then ever, when he put it out, it's like I couldn't leave. Mm. I was like, oh my God, now I gotta be this crackhead every <laughs> week. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, this is hard. And we made that scene up a day before the episode was coming out. Like it was just a scene, we made up an extra scene that wasn't even in the script already. She was done. We was like, yo, we need something else, something else more dramatic to put in there. And that's the scene where TJ put the gun to his yeah, mother. I was like, put the like gun that. in my face, and I'm gonna argue with you. And then from there, she and became Miss Siobhan. And then I've been a crackhead ever since. Because they loved her. They looked loved her. They was just... like, who's the lady with no yeah. face? Who's the lady with no face? And I was like, damn, I got to be this damn crackhead forever. Because it's intriguing. You keep watching and you anticipating the fact that one day, you your yourself. mask is going to come off. Right. And you just keep watching cause, and you never bring it off. Now we in season six. And I still didn't show my And face. you're sitting there chopping up crack and said, let me leave this crack alone. <laughs> <laughs> let me leave with my EBT card. I was the word, listen. Cause it's like, a, it's like a rush for me. Like I enjoy smoking crack. Mm -hmm. So I do want to get clean. As you see, like I'm contemplating. Yep. I'm like on a Richter scale. I don't know what's happening. I want to get clean, but I love crack. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. This season, your son going to help you get clean? I'm Hopefully. I don't really know until yeah. I get the script. So that's, that's one thing crazy. too. Like, like everybody. Don't know, no. I don't know nothing. nothing. Everybody do that. Like say we on set. And I'm over here, they'll run to her and ask her stuff. And she was like, I don't know. Yeah, she don't know either. I don't know. She oh, don't you know. do this a secret society like that? Yeah, nah. I let him work. Yeah. I let him work. So what I do is, if I got an idea or something, I kind of hub by your Kima. Like, this idea I got for this, how did that work? How should I say it like that? Then she'd be like, nah, yes, or like that, stuff like that. But besides that, she wouldn't know. Like, she wouldn't know what scene's coming to her. No. And she like that until it get to her. And so, like and so that, I'm yeah. laughing. I'm like, oh, really? I'm cutting up crack and I'm talking about I'm clean. <laughs> <laughs> How right. is it at home when he's working? Very tense. He he really, like, when, when Whitney Houston said, uh, I mean, not even Whitney Houston, Erica Badu said, I'm sensitive about my shit. Yeah. Mm. I'm in a room. I let him work. Just go. Don't talk. I tell my daughter, don't talk. How long Kanye West. You need to write an episode. Uh, a couple days, a couple days, like that. Take a couple days. Is it kind of like you already have it in your head? You just gotta put it out on paper. Yeah, somewhat in my head, but it still take time to build it. But I tell when people this, I'm in six seasons and it's still the same, like the same process, the same energy, the same jitters, the same stress. Like people think because you want six is like light. No, because it's the same pressure. Right. Nothing changes because you still have to deliver every time. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't get easy. Yeah, it doesn't get easy. It just you get used to doing it. Mm -hmm. You mentioned earlier um, your cameraman wasn't there. Like at the first guy you had yeah. wasn't like a part of it. So how do you keep your actors and everybody and, like making sure that these people are going to do what they're supposed to do? Because it's not like a paid gig. Yeah. A lot of times people are like, well, I'm not going to get paid. And you know, they know they're not getting paid. So how do you keep your cast together? Like how do you know like these people are going to stick with it and do what they need to do? Well, pretty much everything comes from the core. Like the the structure of any business comes from the figurehead. Mm -hmm. So I have to display myself in a certain way for them to respect me, for me to just to say stuff without money and people will yeah. translate that and listen and stuff like that. So that's one, I mean, conducting myself in a certain way that people respect me as a businessman. Mm -hmm. And then two, just being a person with people, you know what I mean, be understanding. And then three, you have to be firm also because people still have to know there's still a business right. like that. And it gets hard, it gets hard sometimes because I came in business with a lot of people that was my friends. Right. So friends and business, everybody know how that go. But the main part of me is just being human, being understanding, being flexible. So when I meet people, I deal with people, I treat them as I want to treat myself and I don't put too much on them understanding what we're doing. Right. And when people see that, they feel like, okay, this dude cool, I can rock with him. You know what I mean? It ain't too extra, he ain't putting too much on me. Right. And go like that, you know what I mean? He's a solid individual. So I think just being who you are and just trying to show people you care, show people you're really trying to make something happen for everybody, not just you. Yeah. So people can feel like I'm a part of something, that they're trying to do something. You know what I mean, I feel like hopefully that you understand it. A lot of people don't get it, right. but the majority do get it. You know That's what I'm saying? Good. So it's a hard task. You have a solid cast. Yeah, because people don't realize this. The hardest part that they understand is that out of all the work I do, I'm overworked and still underpaid. I still ain't getting what I'm worth, so you complain about you. I still ain't getting my worth yet. Yes. And I ain't complaining. I'm trying You're to get it if we all could get it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking us all with me. Yeah. But it takes time. And so, some people, I think we had this discussion before about people wanting 
popcorn overnight success mm -hmm. and it don't happen like and that. And the spectators too. Like I had meetings like when my I don't know how everybody else web series do it, but our web series we have meetings, you know what I mean, quarterly stuff like that, just come together to talk and go over well, shit, just like that. You know, and when we used to do the meetings, I said it like this, because a lot of people was new. They didn't come from entertainment. They didn't come from anything. They were just on the block in the hood, you know, let's do this. Yeah. Some people gonna get in your ear. People gonna come in your ear and say stuff. You know what I mean? They spectators. Those are people on the bench. On the, on the, that's their job. Uh -huh. They're going to come in there and tell you shit to trick you out the game. Trick you out your Don't spot. listen to them. They want it. And right. it happened to a lot of people. And I feel bad because these people that was there from the beginning, I helped build it, that ain't here now. You know what I'm saying? All because somebody got in their ear and told them whatever, and they ran with it. But do you still have those relationships with those people? Or no. you just clipped it all the way? <laughs> He's, no, okay. not all of them. <laughs> okay. Not all of them. Some of them. Not all of them. Because no. you gotta, you gotta realize, you got people that you can deal with. You got people who can deal with from a distance. And you got people who can't deal with at all. Feet, spoon feed. And you gotta know who you can't deal with at all. Not mm -hmm. even from a distance. Like, nigga, stay away from me. That's just it. Some mm -hmm. people, like, it's like drug game. You got friends that cool as hell, but I know I can't give him a pack. He gonna fuck it up. Mm -hmm. We can smoke, drink, fuck bitches, do all the other shit, but I can't put no drugs in hand. You know what I'm saying? We just cool like that. And then it happens like that. Damn. And some people say, fuck me. I, you know what I mean? Fuck me's I've got. Yeah. Like, to be in, in this business and be like ahead of something, you know what I mean? Fuck me's, he's this, he's stealing, he's bad, he's ah, uh, he's live. Uh, people going live, all type of shit. You gotta have oh, thick skin. Yeah. Delicious. You gotta have thick skin, because it's like that could get into your creative process. How do you too, like with the comments too? Like we read the comments. I know for me people say, don't read the comments. Cause do you read all the comments? Oh yeah, I read all you the read comments. Read I see yeah. you like them. Yeah, I read every comment, <laughs> yes. every comment. Mm -hmm. I read every comment. And people love when you interact. Yeah, they I read do. every comment. People so good like the bad. Yeah, cause it comes with the territory. Like I tell people, I don't, I won't argue with anybody. Somebody could come and tell me right now, let's go as whack, I don't like it. And I'm gonna say, okay. Might not even say that, right? No, I say okay, because what do you <laughs> want me to do? You, right. if, if it's not for you, I'm not here to convince you. Okay, right. you don't like it. Yeah. But, but people get mad it. that you don't react. Mm -hmm. Like, because I'm like, all right, like, what do you want me to do? I'm not going to explain to you why you should like it. You saw it, you don't like it. Cool, I got the view. Weird. Thanks for your view. Yeah, like, what do you want me to do? All right, well, you know. You got so much more going on, though. Too. Oh, yeah, the bullet to the ballot. Yes. Oh, yeah, that I got another amazing. show coming out. That's, no, I'm going show a movie. Mm -hmm. It's like a lifetime type of movie, okay. so I'm switching my genres over. All right, you now. You know what I'm saying? You know, so that's the next project. I got Edmonds High. That's the high school comedy. Oh, that one is so different, right? This one is so different because we on our, like, Martin Eddie Murphy shit, where we playing, like, three different characters, got to put the props on and oh, shit I love like it. that. Okay. So we taking our, our talents to that kind of level where I'm playing me, but three different number of people, like that Jonathan playing two different other people. Yes. and. Oh, and shit like good. that. So they're trying to, you know, change it up, do something different, and elevate, you know what I mean, at all costs and at all times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the Let's Go For Life family, Mama Shirley. She got a movie shit. coming, too. We ain't oh, get to it shit. yet, but she got a movie coming, too. Yeah. You wrote it? No, I didn't write it. I just came up with the idea, mm -hmm. and I'm going to co-write it with him when we finally get a chance to sit down. I like him a little crazy. But I'm a psychologist, so I um, wanted it to be very... I watched a movie on Lifetime, and I felt like it didn't capture black mental health. Yes. So I wanted to jump into black mental health and all of the um, generational traumas yes, mm -hmm. that, that awesome. black women experience, especially That's within deep. domestic violence and mental health. That's deep. So we're going to jump into that. It's going to be like a round table, but it's going to um, kind of open the doors to that. get deeper into female. somebody's life. Mm -hmm. It's going to be all women. Real stories. Yeah, I might just be the janitor. That's yes. it. I might just be the janitor. Yes, yes. bring that Hey, how y'all doing, y'all? Hey, ladies, the janitor, get my camera. Because we, we're not really depicted right, you mm -hmm. know? Like, and we, we are all depicted as angry black women, but we have a story behind us. Wow, we are like yeah. this. Right. It did, yeah. We weren't just, we didn't exactly, just born like exactly. this. Right. So it's going to be different than a four color girls type of movie. Very different. Yeah. Good. And I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna be relatable because we need that. And she's a therapist, so she do this yeah, for years. So she got stories like and and, right. yeah. oh, nice. and all stuff like that. Right. So yeah, I heard you say that. So that's even better yeah. because you's coming from a good so point you know. of view. Right. Uh, a, a a a medical point of view. No. Yeah. Victims' yeah. point of view. Victims. Yeah. Like that. So, yeah. Yeah. It, it's gonna be very interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I deal with people every single day who's experienced so much and still trying to push through after having children family departed from them they don't want anything to do with them and so i just want to bring that to the forefront to make sure that people understand that we're just not angry black women we we really have a story and 
we are really battling and we're we're pushing through through all of those different transgressions did you ever think in 16 years of being together that y'all would get here doing this and doing more did y'all ever think that like i knew that he was going to be famous in some sort Mm -hmm. some sort because he always had that drive Mm -hmm. and i knew i was going to be who i was because i've been in college for forever (laughs) but i just (laughs) knew that he needed that push forward because when you come from the hood, you don't really have many people telling you that you can do it. Yeah. And I come from a family that say, listen, if you want to do it, you're going to do it. I don't care yeah. how you're going to do it. You're going to figure it's it out. Get done. Yep. So I was just kind of the like lighter underneath his feet and showing him that I'm here when nobody else is not. I'm here to make sure that you do what you need to do. I'm going to support you through every aspect of your life. Oh, she taught me a lot, though. I ain't going to lie. A lot about life and stuff. Even though she's younger than me, she taught me a lot about life and stuff like that. I ain't going to lie. She ain't that much younger than you. <laughs> no, because, no, my life, I'm like, she's younger than me, but I'm like 10 years ahead because the life I was living, okay. the streets, all the stuff I've been life. doing. By the time I met her, she was a kid. I'd have been state to state, here to there, jail, mm-hmm. on the run, in the newspaper. I had a baby already, so... My life was way faster, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was super fast. You know what I'm saying? It was super My mother hated him. Yeah, because they knew. Remember, I was on the run, and her mother family didn't know I was on the run. I used to come be on the run and hide out at her house, but her mother and them didn't know I was on the run Mm -hmm. until somebody told. This is a movie right here. No, it's really a movie. movie. (laughs) Right, no, it's really a movie. And my mother was like, because he used to wear bucket heads. It's hilarious, right? Mm -hmm. She used to be like, why that boy always wear bucket (laughs) heads? I was like, no. She was like, he was on the run, right? Yeah, I, was like, I, was in the I was like, no, he not on the run. She shit. was like, yeah, so-and-so told me he shot somebody at Tilda, and he in the newspaper, and he on the run. That's why he be over here every day. Yeah. He can't come back to my house. Yeah, it was real like And that. it was hell. Yeah. I was like, damn. So now your mom's find out the boyfriend she ain't want you with is a shooter. He in the newspapers. He got, he, he got a lot he got going a, on. Yeah. He got too much going on. Yeah. For her little seventeen year old. You, know go, you can't be with him. Don't be with him. Yeah. Exactly. Ma, I'm gonna be with him. And when it all ended up, when as as we grew, my mother fell in madly in love with him. Aww. You can't say nothing bad yeah. about him. That's how it be. Yeah. We've been through, we've been we've been through hell and back. We've been through hell. And now we here. And back and we back. Yeah. How many views? Oh, over 11 million views. Yo, man, I love this shit, oh, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, oh, man. Yeah. I, just, yeah. I can remember days sitting back. Just being on YouTube. Is and, it 13 and, million now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 13, not 11. Yeah, yeah just watching years. people. And, and, and at this time, I didn't have any. So it's like, damn, like, how they do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, to actually happening. So it's a, it's a good feeling because people don't realize how much work you've done before you mm-hmm. get it. Like, motherfuckers don't realize how much work you've done before you get it. You know what I mean? Walking around, putting up posters, drinking a $7 bottle of Paul Masson, selling CDs and gas stations and, oh, and doing shows just damn, to get that's known. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. To you finally getting recognized. Right yeah, we that. sharing sandwiches. Oh my God, it was interesting. Yeah. Shit, sandwiches. Yeah, hell sandwiches. yeah. On set, on set. Sandwiches. Everybody taking a little peek. Yeah, you go to the store, tell down. them, cut, cut it in six. Mm-hmm. Like, how the hell you got a hero in six? But we, we worked it out. Yeah, none of us knew how to film. None of us knew how to hold a so mic. None of us, that none that of that. So Listen, we all just came together. Deleting a whole episode. Like, now we all filming it back in two days. Yeah, by mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it, it was interesting. But we made it. And that's all that matters. And still going, and yeah. there's so much more, and yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, two Christmas movies, two Christmas movies. Oh, and the first, no, what? Christmas two. I had my daughter on Let's Go Christmas. She was like three weeks old, fresh out the hospital. She was yeah, in the house. I made her. Muhammad had like stole the baby, so I put her in the movie <laughs> and shit to get her in there. You know, yeah. everybody got to eat, everybody work. And now, what we got to look forward to in season six? Any, any? Drama? Oh well, season six is going to be a story about you know if she gonna get clean because mm-hmm. who knows she could die. You get what I'm saying? He keeps saying oh, that. Oh, my goodness. No, he keeps saying that. I'm thinking I'm out of here. But we going to see. No, you're not out of here. To me, it looked like you are kind of, from the first episode, right? It looked like you kind of getting more personal with the characters and their significant others. So, who's Mona? No, Toya. Because 300 <laughs> has a female that he took. See, 300 never had a female. Five seasons had a female friend. So now his female friend Toya and his estranged father has come back in his life. Yes. So we opening that door of fathers and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Of being gone and how parents are their own person before they become parents. Mm-hmm. And sometimes their that bad habits line. trinkle down and kids no. see it and don't understand it and resent the parent when they want to come back and they miss that chance because the parent dies some shit because, right. oh, why you want to come back now? Well, now's mm-hmm. when I'm together, motherfucker. Why? I can't go back and go back when you're 12, little bastard. Forget the you past. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But they don't understand that. So this is trying to show that this is why because people don't understand because there's nobody to give them that 
real advice mm -hmm. to say, listen, your mom's had her own demons. She tried, but at that time she couldn't defeat them. It right. ain't because she don't like you, she hates you. Because the kids were like, oh, my father here, my mother hate me. No, right. they didn't hate you. They didn't even understand you. They, they was lost. You know what I'm saying? But they, they take it as, demons. oh, they, they didn't want me. No, they didn't want you. They couldn't be they self. Mm -hmm. How can they take care of a kid? They can't take care of themselves. Yes. For but until sure. you understand that, you still had that hatred and all that extra shit. So we trying to cover that. And then Jonathan, he got another BBW friend, not Tatiana, Tatiana. Yes. <laughs> a, Tatiana. Do say, this is some saucy shit. Right. <laughs> like, what was that? Wait, this yeah. is what you yeah. Poor, poor Tatiana. Yeah, I'm like, what? <laughs> Sir, no. Then you got 50 feet left, 50 oh, yeah, feet, 50 feet right murder. Yeah, he had a visible bay all them years now. He has a female companion. You and it. you see him laughing. He mm -hmm. eating empanadas and all that Her shit. Her feet out. Yeah, yeah feet, feet out. Clean at feet at the bottom. Clean feet. Know you know got to pay attention uh -huh. to shit like feet. that. Things no. Yes. And they just vibing. So and then my father coming home from jail uh -oh. like that in episode, which is real life. He really coming home after 26 years. Wow. So that was actually him in a voice in the background and stuff. So... That's a different oh, thing. Good. I bring it in there. And um, um, Jonathan, he has a cousin in the show, Reggie. Y'all mm -hmm. gonna see, I can't tell that much there. Yeah. But this is gonna be good. Agent Timms, who used to be a bully, now he has a cop that's bullying him. You I know like what I'm saying? that. So it <laughs> should change, like, and you know. Because I don't like it. Well, you, you know you a good actor when somebody don't like yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, Listen, yeah. I've been hated forever. Oh, let me tell you a story, right? Boom. So we and Tilda, right? I've been hated forever. So we and Tilda, oh, my bad. So we get out the car, my homegirl, like, yo, Chan, come here, come here, come here. So boom, we both got the car. Mind you, nobody don't know. So it's me, her, and the girl talking. She's like, yo, I love your show. Yo, y'all better not kill Jonathan. Oh, 50 feet, my nigga. Oh, is that real right? out there? Now no. look, now, oh, real. super real. Now, oh, but that bitch, that bitch, Miss Siobhan, she a dirty ass bitch. That bitch need to Ooh, die. Why you standing there? I was standing there yeah. like this. What? Yeah. She was like, I will strangle that bitch, put her in front of me, I'll beat that <laughs> bitch ass. <laughs> was I was that? like, keep Ooh. the mask on. Yes. Like, I was like, this. Yeah. No, I was just, because they yeah. know my voice, so I yeah. stayed very quiet all the time. Yep. How is fun. that? <laughs> Kill me off. Listen, at this point, <laughs> take me out. Because they going to take me out anyway in real life. Like, it's, like they really take it real like serious. Real no, she, killed her son she was over like, the you eight killed your, that bitch killed her fucking son over crack? <laughs> I'm like, Lord, I don't even smoke crack, Jesus. <laughs> Somebody help a Lord, Jesus. It's a show. It is. I'm just an actress, Lord. <laughs> but, yeah, they, they be ready. They be on my ass until then. And now oh, people Oh, but let me tell know, you, the other funniest ones is the niggas. Miss Siobhan is so beautiful. Miss like, Siobhan hey, is so... Uh, that's how you know people crazy. You want to see a face, nigga. See Shut up. It's that ass. I'm going to say up, if they, yeah. it's that ass. Ass, that ass is round. I'm sorry. I did that. I did that. <laughs> oh, I Don't did get that. mad at me. No. I did that right there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Kiba is that ass. They be, is, did he zone in? So we, beautiful. You oh, yeah, I do that. Man. I do that to everybody. Come on, yeah, I do Listen, that to her too. Listen, we was filming so. with some guy, right? The guy from up, up there. Oh, oh, yeah. We walking, filming. He was like, yo. Mind you, he don't even know who I am. I'm walking with him. He like, yo. All the niggas from over here want to fuck Siobhan. And I'm like, oh. They like, yo, Siobhan, thick as fuck. I'll fuck that crackhead. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, oh my Lord. Oh, and I'm like, oh, my. I'm like, oh. Don't like and then 300 don't play. Oh, he he ass. Ass. 300 don't play. He called me his grandma. He was like, I'm about to beat this nigga up. I'm like, he don't even he know his name. Yeah, he don't, don't know. Yeah, yeah, he don't know. That's when you forget a little bit. Yeah, hell it's yeah. It's just a show, it's a bro. Show. Yeah, <laughs> but still. And they they Ain't vulgar no with it. Still. Yeah, I know. I saw. So now that too. So let me tell you that part right about the business. So being from what I came from, I had to change my ways in the sense of it's business. So now that people make me mad. It's business. I can't punch so people in the face. Yeah, because I can't be like oh. only thing I hear about let's go is yo, yeah, he's a director, but if you get mad, he gonna punch you in the face and all I can't do that. So holding my temper, cause remember, you got mind you, people say some fuck shit cause they on that. And it's like, do I punch him in the face or just fire him? You get what I'm saying? So It has helped you grow. Yes, cause that It has helped so you yeah. elevate. Because content. you have to realize, like I told you, I get all this, all that. So imagine every time somebody say something, I'd be out there fighting like I can't, you know what I'm saying? It don't make sense. And and not for nothing, you might not see it, but you will. Like it's bettering you. Yeah. And yeah. that's the good lesson in that. Yeah. But I had two fights though. I can feel <laughs> names. I had to fight two cast members and shit like that. Oh, you gonna put it out there? You just I, nah, I'm not gonna say no names though. No, no, no. You just had to put. No, because don't people understand that that it's real. It gets real with this shit. 
know what I'm saying? All this shit be happening over people and other people ears and, and people get shit misconstrued or somebody who is maybe, I say y'all both on the show, right? Mm -hmm. And your role may be bigger than this person's role, right? Mm -hmm. So this person, but, but now, but look, but y'all hang out together. So now this person talk about it so much, his grievances, it start making you feel like it's yours. Mm -hmm. So now you That's feeling funny. like this person feeling and you in a better position. Mm -hmm. So now guess what? You get kicked out oh, with that person. Jealousy. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. That's crazy. It gotta be. So they they be violating though. So it's like, you they, know what I mean? They, so yes, yeah, stuff do happen like that. Hey. It happens. Oh, yeah. and, and I won both of them. Just so <laughs> y'all know. I had to put that out there. Y'all ain't see his knuckles. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she yeah. saw him, yeah. yeah and he won. kept that, them two fights a secret. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't so tell her. I didn't sure. know about it. Yeah. As, Until oh, one day, his like, finger was hurt. He was like, my finger hurt. Dang. I was like, what's wrong with your finger? Now, mind you, it happened about three days ago. He was like, I think I got to go to the hospital. My finger hurt. Because that was the second fight. Yeah, he was like, I think I, I think I need to go to the hospital. I had a fight. I said, who the fuck you had a fight with? Yes, I had two fights. That's something else he got to bring home. Yeah. And they put it on your plate. It's interesting. So interesting. after you fight them, can you be cool with them? Um, them? It depends on why I fought which one. Like one, I'm still cool with the other one. I saw him after that though, but I ain't say nothing. He just kept walking. Cause it's like, you brought this upon yourself for nothing serious. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to be my dog. So my golden rule is this. If you could come at me and look at me like an outsider, then I'm an outsider. It'll yes. stay that way. Stay that way. That's it. That's it. Stay that way. The other situation was a little different it was more of, of 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 like you have an aggressive situation and I'm a person that I can't deal with you being aggressive with me too long mm -hmm. and I just had to go. You know what I'm saying? So I apologize after and yeah. shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause you can't be in my face just talking shit loud in my face for too long. I'm not I'm not good with that. You know what I'm saying? So I had I punched him and then like that. Oh. And then after that That escalated. We spoke about it, but I'm like, son, you can't be in my face like that. Like in the day, I'm outside every day, all day talking to people. Ain't nobody in my face screaming, yelling, and all that. I don't do that. So if you do that, I'm I'm yeah, not waiting for you to hit me till you get face. to get your courage up. I'm not doing yeah. that. So I apologize, my bad son. I ain't mean, but you know what I'm saying. You put in a position where I don't do that, so I'm not waiting. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So me and him, we spoke everything like that. But the other dude is like, it shouldn't be that way. You know what I'm saying? Especially when me and these dudes came up before the show. I just be like, yo, there's nothing that we can't talk about. You know what I'm saying? So you have people that are tell eight people. But don't tell you. Mm -hmm. And that was one of those situations. Mm -hmm. It's hard in this industry. We haven't got no money. What the, some people like this. What the fuck is that? We haven't got no money yet. But all this comes into play for when you get the money, all the bad apples fall yes, for the tree. Yes, that's what it's for. Yeah. Your yeah. growth, elevation. That's when you know you elevating while you going through the motions. And when you get to the bag. And get security and say, beat them niggas up. I ain't doing them all. I'm tired. Oh, there you go. That's it. You ain't going to have those type of people around you. That's a fact. You know Thank you. I mean? Thank you. Yeah. See, speak no. speak the positivity. No, there you go. For the Brandsville, I wore this brown hat. For, I shouldn't have wore this hat. Because it brings the Brandsville out of me. Yeah, That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but you growing and it's beautiful to see. And Thank these, you. this is what's going to come with it, you know? And that's why I say you. I'm sitting here and I'm encouraged to keep going with my platform by just listening to your stories and you know I'm at the beginning you know I'm just getting started so I do appreciate you because I'm learning too like this is what comes with it so the little things that I think I be going through you done been hit with it and it's hard in this industry when you trying to break in and mm -hmm. people supporting you and not supporting you but if you love doing it you got to keep doing it and that's what it sounds like you're saying overall yeah, right? it'll prevail going. for sure because it would never be like the closest people to you. You know, sometimes yeah. we look at the people closest to us. We want them to support us. Yes. But yeah, majority of the times they don't because you're elevating further than them. Or they don't know. In our in our culture, they believe that crabs in a, like that crab in a barrel. Yeah. So I see little body T gumming up. Um, nah, that shit corny. They're going to find every little thing to nitpick. So just keep pushing. Yes. It's yeah. going to prevail for sure. It's growing and Everything's yes. doing what it's yeah, we, we came from one view. Do y'all sure. think that the black community ever will heal and change that narrative of crab in a barrel? I seen some posts from Snoop Dogg and this other guy, Baruch, where the brother was on the wall, then it was another brother and the brothers, and then they was on top of the wall, then they both, and then one of the brothers got to the top. When he yeah. got to the top, he put a rope and banged it, threw the rope down, and everybody, and everybody climbed up. 
So I'm like, all right, y'all putting this message out here, but are people receiving it? Do yes. y'all see Not everybody. Some Not everybody. So pretty much, some. what like I told you before when we spoke, we have to focus on the portion that do. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the portion that do do that and that's still doing that and that, that inspires that. Exactly, mm-hmm. we have to highlight that. And mm-hmm. gravitate because we have to learn that the ones that's doing it, we have to stay away from the other ones. Try to distance right. ourselves the much away from the other ones. Because those are the ones that bring like the young dogs, the killings, those are the ones that bring us down. Yeah. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. We have to know that we the ones doing shit and go away because there's a lot of people that's bringing it back down. It's just that you said we got to highlight that more. Yeah. And that shows the younger versions of us to do the same for their generation to bring right. their people up and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, I think everything we doing is taking steps forward. Conversations like this, everything we doing, cause I had a comment today on YouTube and I, I had to put a message up there. They took my um, why shows like this is out and what kills black people stuff yeah, like I that. Saw that yeah, not comment on that. I love no like. Listen, man, shows like this is acting. It's giving people jobs, giving people opportunities, giving people learning. It's changing neighborhoods. It's doing so much for the people that we could be out there shooting, robbing, and doing it in real life. This is on YouTube. It's not real. It's nothing different than other shows. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's changing narratives because when I grew up, when I came outside in the projects. Motherfuckers had guns, motherfucking drugs, and all that. Now, when I'm outside, when the kids come out and see me, they see cameras, they see fly niggas with cameras, microphones, and they come gravitate to us. So we're showing them you could be fly, you could be all this with a camera and a mic, not mm-hmm. a gun. So you can't tell me what I'm doing is doing nothing wrong because I'm giving people opportunities who never did nothing, even giving me opportunities to change people and give us opportunities nationwide. Mm-hmm. So this shit is opening doors for everybody and connecting everybody with each other. In and mm-hmm. Exactly. So Let's what you're saying is foolish life. because you're going to watch Power, all these other shows, mm-hmm. and y'all okay with it, but yeah. we Serial entrepreneurs killers. learning and growing, and y'all mad that we're making the, the show? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You should be happy we're doing this. Pay you know attention. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. And you're learning something. Yeah. Before we go, I have a question, <clears throat> and I just need to know. Well, I just want to know. Give us a spoiler. Is it going to be a season two of Bullet to the Ballot? Oh, hell yeah. All right. That's hell it. Yeah. That's right now, it. it's going to be season two of Bullet to the Ballot. I'm working on some things because I want to take it to another level. I want to get it real graphic. I want to, yeah. 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 Y'all yeah. stay tuned. I love it, though. People Bullet to the it. Ballot is so scary for me. Yeah, she's scared of it. They scared because of the message. I am they too, but I still. <laughs> come get us. I'm like, but oh, brother, they're going to come get us. I heard yes. that so many times. They're going to come get us. I heard that so many times, but you got to realize this. If there wasn't. Yeah, you know, listen, the white man don't play if that. We, but one thing I tell people is this, right? Regardless of what, what you do and your message has to be done in the sense of you would change the course of time and history. You get what I'm saying? Because if Malcolm X wasn't scared and did what he did or whoever, when they died, whatever happened, it changed the course of history for now mm-hmm. and on. Regardless of how you look at it, it changed the course of history. Mm-hmm. Because when whatever he did, um, Black Panther Party is transcending today. Why? Because they had to take that leap yeah. to go for it. And however it turned out, it's going to change the course of history. And it's going to be for the better. Because right. it's for the inspiration and to keep the message going. Yeah. That's how it is. However it turned out, yeah, that's what it, it. is. Yeah, I ain't worried it. about it because in a day, I look at it like this. Even if it, it turned out that way, I'm going down how I'm supposed to make my name yeah. as a motherfucking activist, a leader of this free fucking culture. Look, so if that go saying, down that way, <laughs> listen. Keep saying, listen, wait, what? That's just what it is. <laughs> Not we. You. Yeah, well, that's what just what it is because, because the, the, right. the, the, the power of my voice, the power of what I said and done that's left here, will change whoever behind me who watched me. So even my daughter, because she said my father was revolutionary activist who did something. That'll change her. That'll change everything. Mm-hmm. So however it go down, it's going to make its mark to do what it's supposed to have it done. It's going to mark history. It's going to inspire. It's all about inspiring right. the next generation to go forward. And somebody has to be that inspiration somehow, some way. Mm-hmm. But if you burn that candle, you burn that light of inspiration out. Because when Malcolm and Martin candle went out, we relit them candles. Yes. That's what it is. Rest in peace to Malcolm X's daughter who was just found. Oh, yeah, found I saw uh, that. I don't trust and that shit. You know me. Yes. <laughs> you know me. I wish we could get into it, but next yeah. time, because we are a family, I appreciate you oh, yeah, having let's me go a, a family. part of the family. Yeah. Mimi, you a part. We just got our roles. That's we knew. Right. 
But we, we tapped know, in. Yeah. Y'all knew on Let's Go, but y'all was in Bullet of the Ballot first. Yes, yes which yeah. was so good. So it's yeah. amazing. And that was like, okay, you can be on the show now. I was like, you're on the show? We both yes, on the show. like surprise. Like, we yeah. we introduced oh, it over here. Oh, I mean, um, what'd you call it? The um, Because I remember you said you was um, working. So December 11th, we're going to drop the next episode. We're doing a game night and party night premiere for December 11th for the next episode of Let's Go. Okay. Like that. So we're going to turn it up, have fun. How we do it. So it's like a Christmas party before the year over, everything. Nice. Yeah. That sounds yeah. good. Some fun. Until next time, thank you for coming. Thank y'all for having us. Class, please let them know you. your IG yes. handle, your YouTube. Yes. Kima, uh, you? Miss Siobhan, I know. We yeah. gotta keep it low. Go ahead, C Class, let them know. Yo, with C Class, Let's Go for Life. You can find me on youtube.com slash Let's Go for Life. Instagram C Class A V E M S P underscore Brownsville. That's a Mama Stray Productions homepage. Make sure you join, subscribe, and like, and follow us. Thanks for tapping into yes. now. This you got podcast. Siobhan underscore yeah. Let's Go for Life. I, I, I forgot it. I forgot All right, follow Siobhan underscore Let's Go for Life. Her Instagram <laughs> page that she ain't on ever. Right. But Siobhan right. underscore Let's Go for Life. Like That's yeah. her page. Okay. Go follow Stop her. Be like, forget it.